हाउ यू डूइंग आई होप एवरीबडी इज डूइंग वेल लॉन्च पैड के अंडर लाइफ स्किल्स द जर्नी के बहुत सारे सीरीज चल रहे हैं इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स आ रहे हैं टेक्निकल नॉलेज शेयर हो रहा है प्लस जो सॉफ्ट स्किल है या लाइफ स्किल्स के बारे में बात हो रही है तो आज ऐसे ही एक इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक के साथ आई हूँ यूके में जो अपना स्टडी करना है तो उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा आज बात करेंगे बिकॉज यू नो वट एज अ स्टूडेंट्स वी आर विलिंग टू पर्सी आर एजुकेशन इन द यूनाइटेड किंगडम राइट बट वी आर वी आर लिटिल कंफ्यूज विद अदर ऑप्शन एंड वी रियली वॉन्डर वाई एंड हाउ टू चूज द यू के फॉर स्टडी well uh, the united kingdom is one of the countries that house some of the best universities in the world like oxford hai cambridge hai right some of the colleges and universities even dated back to some 12th or 13th centuries and being an alumnus of those colleges is a matter of pride definitely therefore with such a legacy the uk has become a benchmark for education uh, for students and uh, we all love a place where we feel welcome visited so one of the major benefits what i observed while my stay in the uk that you know the universities make sure that students feel comfortable they settle in this new environment because the, i mean from historic destinations to theater to music arts having the headquarters of bigger uh, you know investment banking international investment banking so students can find a lot of options of their interest and we can easily become part of the vibrant culture of this country or isi the one of my friends very good friend of mine so i'm inviting him he started accountant uh, from india to hey MBA from Nottingham से भी किया है प्लस ही इज ए सी एल आई चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट फ्रॉम द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट इन इंग्लैंड एंड वेल्स सो लेट मी फॉर्मली वेलकम मयूर एंड इंट्रोड्यूस हिम एंड अबाउट हिज यू नो हिज कंसल्टेंसी सो मयूर इज द फाउंडर डिरेक्टर ऑफ यू के बेस्ड अकाउंटेंसी फॉर्म लेटेस्ट कंसल्टेंसी यू के लिमिटेड विच सर्व क्लाइंट्स इन यूरोप एंड एशिया फ्रॉम इट्स ऑफिस इज बेस्ड इन लंडन Paris Aurangabad which is in India right after completing his chartered accountancy uh, degree in India uh, he pursued his masters in management from Nottingham University UK his goal was to set up his own firm so he began his career uh, in london based accountancy firm and then that led uh, setting up the latest consultancy uk limited back in 2010 as a founder director he has been driving force of his company achieving multiple milestones in a short period of time so now that you know he expanded his firm's client base to 15 countries across europe and asia so under his leadership mayur has uh, you know has a focus Uh, on leveraging innovation and cutting edge technologies in finance and accountancy sectors uh, he has also developed a successful uh, and sustainable accountancy outsourcing business model so which resulted in an efficient solution for uh, his clients across the uk and the world and in addition here uh, of his uh, ca practice he also owns and manages a portfolio of properties across uk through his other business ventures and involved in very charitable uh, uh, activities so welcome mayur we would love to talk more about how when uh, this indian ca thing nottingham and plus icaw so uh, would you mind telling us a little bit about your life journey that how you ended up taking mba in management in nottingham uh, university how difficult it was or what was your thought process getting into the uk and uh, starting your own business i mean own practice there so a little bit about your uh, life please Thanks, Ali, for such a nice, wonderful introduction. Actually, you already given brief about what I did, and it was so nice to hear that. And especially, my I got to know from you that there are a lot of fellow chartered accountants who may be studying right now, gonna listen to this. So it's exciting for me as well to share my thought with my fellow members who I was in the same boat where they were, like long about ten, fifteen years back. So it, I hope this whatever I will share to them, Ajani, will be helpful for them as well to decide what they want to achieve. what they want to do in the future so right now as sally said i am currently based in london i run my chartered accountancy firm obviously i am a chartered accountant from indian institute back in 2006 batch so it's a long back obviously then i did my masters back in nottingham university in uk and obviously i will share why i did it what was the purpose behind it and how it was helped me in the future years so i will share those more details as well and currently 
after doing that of course how you're going to do practice in overseas there's a bit difference between practicing in india and overseas so all these factors come into picture but right now if you know what difficulties you will be facing in the future is better you can plan accordingly so that the things will be much easier in the future for you yeah. so these that the things i think we'll be discussing today shortly yeah absolutely i mean very nicely said mayur that failing to plan is planning to fail so you have to plan well in advance where where do you want to land up so thoda sa nottingham university ke bare mein janenge how you landed up to that uh, university bahut sare universities are right from cambridge oxford leeds ki hai york ki hai and there is a business school, london ki hai edinburgh is also one of the top universities uh, you know i came across while my stay in the uk so uh, why nottingham how did you how did you end up uh, taking that course there was it not that difficult or was it difficult for you to you know uh, to uh, to choose between the universities or uh, kaise aapne ye sab kuch kiya all right yeah interesting so right now generally when like you all guys so you few of you might be in the final of your may you have completed so obviously there is a certain you will have certain problems and set, certain parameters you have to fulfill when you plan to go overseas generally it's not a standard rule but in general what happens generally when you complete your chartered accountancy maybe 23 20, no one asks attempts later on mind you but generally i'm saying time wise 24 25 then is you have enough time to go overseas do your mba or masters and have one two year experience and then the journey starts if you got delayed sorry to say that but if you got delayed in passing say 27 28 then i think that you have other responsibilities so things are going to be a bit difficult to have some time to do all this thing of course it's never been late there's no standard rule but these are the general principle people follow and nowadays the new train come a lot of people work till 40 then they go for mba but again countries like in india how is possible when you have a family maybe kids so how you will take two years family off to go overseas to do studies a lot of business promote that as well mind you so i think best uh, when i completed my chartered accountant it was a bit early even take some attempts which is normal uh, then once you complete i realize chartered accountancy having is not enough and even you know that's one degree of course this is the best the best degree you're going to have in uk or, or all over india every all over world has been recognized so you've got a something very top tier absolutely but now you need some value addition and that was the intention because when back days things are ca is be changed now obviously back 10 years back but still generally i find we all our colleagues we are missing a little bit in our marketing maybe or maybe how we communicate or how we present ourselves these are the small small things of course these are we know but we just need some polishing so that's one of the major factor i decided to go overseas do some studies where we learn how to work in a group uh, learn how to present yourself and present in a say not just about speaking but how to manage the thing and how to interact with the people who may be based from whichever country you they, they belong so these are the one of the intention to have my my master degree i need to do and then secondly obviously intention was in back in 2006 7 8 the i the kpo sector is booming realistically so bpo days are about to finish where you do call centers and all but the next steps come in the kpo where you need some data outsourcing it may be finance accountancy or some value added data rather than just a call center so that industry is booming and from my research what i did i realized you need to be in the country where the work is coming you generally can't sit in india and have client from overseas maybe you will get one two but in general you need to be there to have a consistent growth and consistent increasing client base so these are the two main reason reason i decided to go there now going obviously everyone will have same scenario now as salias which university you have to go obviously there are ample of choice it obviously cost you a lot but obviously it's like again it's the investment and um, you will realize that in one two years is investment the return is quite high in what and to yes you will feel that what you spend one year what your time is spent for one year is worth it because it's at such a big value added it's changed a lot of things in your life as well your attitude as well so these are the small small things but it's really add up when and because you already have a degree which is at top tier so you just need this small small value add to become a full package you know wherever you go so deciding how you decide university obviously so uk generally uk is all about london and rest of the uk So London is the place where all businesses are there, multi companies are there. 
all the big things generally happen is going to happen in london a lot of startups so these are london is known for all these things and again if you go to the countryside countryside when i say countryside is apart from the london apart from one or two hours from beyond london where you're going to have a big universities you will have your nice student life you know cities like you can see in the movies the students are will be all over all over the world example in my class when i was studying so we have about 200 in whole uh, batch and about 73 country students are there from all over the world so at least you get a good cultural exchange what's happening in other country and you get a connect for everywhere in the world wherever you go because of once you study together and a lot of indians and chinese obviously nowadays coming to get this experience now how you decide universities that depends on your requirement obviously if your intention is to go down and settle there do some jobs and get a visa then you you will go go with some reasonably medium sized university where the passing is not for us passing is not a problem we are chartered accountants obviously but there are a few other things you know group projects uh, some vocabulary all these things which we never learn back in india obviously even in the school days or even in our chartered accountants so these course what thing might create a bit different than what we studied so once you decided which type of things you want to do in the future whether you want to do job whether you want to do your practice or whether you want to work in some multi multinational companies based on that you can decide university and generally when people go intention if you going early you want to have a good st- student life to make a lot of friends and have some time for yourself rather rather than just thinking a lot about the future and all these things then you go to the countryside universities like in nottingham or maybe War- warwick or scotland where you will have a bit peaceful life is not that busy like london you will have ample of time to do all your things the campus is huge you get enough space to do whatever people whoever come there they are generally relaxed people they are not i don't it doesn't mean they are not career oriented but they want to have time for this it's just a learning phase for them so that's where the people go and it might be good idea to go there when especially when we study all this year five years so hard working so that can be a good option to go and another when you another option is to go in london obviously cost of universities cost of living is quite high in london compared to this uh, out, outside the london we're talking about like more than twice the cost will be in london but again once you are in london you are in the heart you know you know all the opportunity costs of being behind beyond you there are so many universities around and so many companies around while working you can get up some good good job as well or part time job as well and once you are in london you will know what's happening every day there is something new happen there is a lot of startup government help in startup government help a lot of students who going to come with some innovative ideas so these all things happen in london generally and rest of the world rest of the places education is more focused compared to this new things it doesn't mean nothing things doesn't happen there but if you do a percentage wise educate these new things are more focused in london based universities uh, based on that of course i decided to go to nottingham have one year for myself do do work on our the, the way you speak the way you present yourself so these are the main factor deciding and once you go there just uh, so i'll just quickly couple of points i think may be important once you studied in uk any university in uk nowadays you get a two years work visa it means once you complete your course two years you can stay in uk do whatever you want you study uh, you you do job you do your business there's no restriction at all so this two years is just started in 2021 where they come this new rule so that way you get two years opportunity to do what you want to do even you want to sit down in uk do your practice two year time frame is good enough to understand how it works whether this suitable to you or not so these are of course there are a lot of other factors there will be big fees you will have to pay then loan if you taking loan you have to pay it back all these things come into picture but once you have a local degree and its combination with indian chartered accountant trust me indian chartered accountants known very well in uk very well reputed and even we know the the study what we do is far 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 difficult than all other uk and us degree according to me and of course our institute has a good tie up with india uk institute where if you are completing your chartered accountants you get a some grade so example if you just completed indian chartered accountants you might need to give three four exams and you become a england and wales chartered accountant if you completed your five years of chartered accountants you need to give one project and you become england and wales chartered accountants and obviously if you want to do something in uk or even the europe you need this ica w degree because this is a local recognized degree which which of course give confidence in the people who you're going to work and all this thing 
So these are a few things you before going, you should be considering in UK. And that's what, and earlier that day, of course, we didn't have those mesh. People were not there. We didn't, internet was not that information. You don't get so easy the way you get it now. But these are the things practically you will face, I think. Yeah. Right. So nicely explained, Mayuri. I mean, yeah, uh, we yeah. generally tend to uh, get into the trap that, okay, I don't know. There's so many options. There's so many agencies or which are catering such services, you know, do this or do that. But yeah. the, uh, for our viewers, yes, I believe these are the great takeaways that, you know, know your strength, where do you want to land up, whether you want to get into consultancy or law or management or marketing or something like that. Because I believe there are universities which are specifically uh, curated their, you know, education, or, I mean, their patterns according to your needs. So you have to know for yourself that what, in particular, you want to get mastery in, right? And that's how you yeah. got to check uh, for the universities. That's number one takeaway, which I got it from him. Second is, yeah, definitely. The, um, there are so it, it's quite subjective, isn't it? So because there's finance into comes into the picture, and there's a bigger aspect of of uh, the decision making. So there's a finance. There is a lot more things. There's liking. There's something some something different you want to uh, do. So those are quite subjective terminology, and then you have to see that you know which university cater to your interest areas in that manner. And yes, third, which third point which I loved about what Mayur said that there is two years experience. I mean, two years visa is 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 being granted to you. So make the most out of it, right? And uh, so see whether you got to decide whether you want to be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond, right? So that way you have to decide key if it is London University, I mean, London-based university that you want to go for, or you can get the countryside uh, university, which Mayur has told us just right now. So that's about, uh, I, I'm sure, uh, we are not looking at you as an agent person, uh, Mayur, and uh, <laughs> I'll restrict myself asking, uh, when can I get it and what are the charges and what are these things? And uh, we have to find out our own sources to and own uh, authenticated sources, isn't it, Mayur? So to yeah, get to all of this, because I know uh, it, it, these agencies are just mushrooming uh, just like that. So it is always uh, beneficial to get in uh, uh, touch base with the universities, I mean, authenticated universities, um, agents, where they can kind of guide you really well, right? And then my very quickly, yeah. you touch based on ICAW. And for the viewers, let me tell that me do, doing ICAW is, is his trigger point. Like he was pursuing his ICAW, like England and Wales. And then one fine day, we had some, some conversation and said, oh, right, this is something that you can do. And I said, ah, yes, we can do. And that's how, you know, uh, I always give him the credit for my ICAW, um, you know, uh, degree, which I have earned is because through through this uh, few of interactions that we had so going back to this ICAW uh, uh, this thing so how it helped you Mayur uh, in, in, in this chartered accountancy or consultancy you touch base that you know uh, being they say if if, uh, if you're going to Rome act like Romans right so is it is it something exactly. that kind that that you wanted to tell us yeah, absolutely. So when whenever you guys will complete your chartered accountancy or a lot of people will have their views, whether you want to go in some outsourcing thing or the, whenever you want to work with a big port, so even a multinational company where you might have an opportunity to go UK or even the US. You know. So when you go that these places, you need some local, local chartered accountancy degree, which I, I will tell you how it's added value to it. Example, if you decided, okay, I'll go to UK, I will study for a one year master's and all. And now next step will be, I might want to start my practice in UK, just a theoretical example. And if you start, you want to your practice, you need, of course, a practicing a local degree certificate where people will trust you because you are recognized by the local bodies. So without ICAW, it's very difficult to start anything in UK in accountancy practice. There's no legal rule. You need to be an ICAW chartered accountant, but then people will not have a trust in you because you're still going to be new and it's not like you're going to be there for 25 years and people know all about you and all. So that's one of the factor. Even if you decided to go in some multinational companies and all, having a local ICAW degree, which is going to recognize all over the Europe. So you have a lot of signing authority. Example, if I need to 
any immigration things happen in UK. Someone coming, say example, you guys come do your one masters and you need you need a post study work visa. So you will need a certificate from a chartered accountant saying you 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 have completed one year visa. This job you will be doing. This is your salary part time. This small small thing, but you need a chartered accountant later and you will get a visa. So uh, the value degree comes with is lot of other things like even someone need to get a mortgage in UK a chartered the accountant icw later is good enough to get in the mortgage if you give the letters with the numbers they will trust you they will not go into tax returns and check edge client wise so this is the big value comes there are small small example like this so this is another example and lastly again icw is recognized in australia as well uh, and generally even at all over the world people know about this degree of course icia is of course you already have one of the biggest degree but icaw it just give you age in a europe especially and uk if you have this degree then you you this is the highest qualification you can have in uk in a, in a finance sector so all the big bankers even you talk about some derivatives people and all they generally will have this with a mba so icaw and he might be doing mba from oxford or cambridge or maybe one of the top top four five universities so bank if, a lot of you must have heard about a lot of financial banking like a banking uh, financial derivative it's a big huge market i think london is the place where all these things decided new york london and generally tokyo these are the three places where you you will find a big marketing people big solicitors big legal things going to happen even today if any big contract happens between two big companies still there is a street in the london where all the contract has been prepared by the solicitor based on that street and then contract is Pass to the London, even if contract happening between Japan and Australia, for example, and ICWA play a big role because when you sign a contract, the financial matter has to be looked and uh, taken care by the local chartered accountant, including the lawyer as well with that. So these are small, small things, but you can imagine how big scope is, how how this degree gonna add big value to it if you decided to go over UK or Europe even as well. Yeah, definitely. So these I mean- are the few things I think. Mm. yeah so it's, it's it's a matter of upskilling and reskilling yourself and i i perfectly can relate with the thought process that if you are there be like what the locals are doing right so uh, and and the, the word which mayur used the trust factor so that trust factor even i second that i did my icaw and 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 there is a change there is a shift of people looking at you will be a lot more different than you being just a chartered accountant definitely ca itself is sufficient like in india ca itself is sufficient to get uh, the entry but how you differentiate yourself from other candidates who are in the race would be then you have these two options either to go to mba and make yourself so you know uh, trained and groomed in super specialization that you want to and if you want to have your own practice like set up practice like for example the uk client or europe client and then you want to send it back to india you know we we believe in jugaad right so we we charge them in euros and we pay here in rupees and that's where we earn <laughs> so if you want to do that so exactly. definitely that's that's uh, uh, and it's not easy that looks quite lucrative and quite glamorous so right you know you send me the, the client i'll get the work done and i'll give you the commission so i am sure mayur you must be interacting <laughs> having such interaction daily basis that you know what i can do it for you so uh, what uh, what would be your advice like what should one do like if they really want to get the startup done or the practice done so what what should they you know start doing right from their student age or right from their early membership things uh, what a what can be the road map for them absolutely generally i think over the period of time you guys going to complete your chartered accountancy and then you will do those field days training and all i think there are three things i think which which i think all of us few of the, you might be very good at it obviously but i'm saying in a general sense these three things i find we are a bit not lacking but we are not expertise in this because if you going to go on the platform like new york or london you need to be expertise in all your things whatever you do you can't be a average person obviously to do something better there So, example, just start with the communication skill. How good you speak English? Now, speaking English, a lot of people, most of you, must have speaking good English. But how smooth it is! And now, if you go to US or even to Europe or even to UK, you need to have some local accent touch. 
obviously if you're going to uk just don't go like this whether you know i know english or not but there are a lot of a lot of uh, if you go to youtube or even if you go online you will have what word used when local people speak just a bit touch and it will change a lot of things for you like there's a small accent a for is a for not apple a for alpha z for zulu these are the small small things you need to know and it doesn't take long to know you know it might be a day or couple of days jobs to know these things but once you have that you are very much local even speaking english this is the first thing i think i will suggest you to do it wherever you go you know every country will have their own thing but you need to have this basic things you should know secondly obviously how's your computer skill when i say computer skill everyone knows how to handle the internet how how to do searching and all but back in old days if you remember typing is the one lot of people doing a typing classes where they increase their speed right, right now we can write very fast generally but we are not the really fast drafting a email or typing you know you need something which you are at a higher speed where you you will see once you go in corporate life most of time you're going to go in drafting emails sending to people and communicated via internet on emails and all so depends how much time you're going to spend typing is again a one big factor so you normal typing is not good enough, good enough you need to have a higher speed where you can you don't need to see and you can type quickly your email with a perfect wording obviously small small wording difference make a huge difference again using some corporate words between your emails no, no none of us know it it just you go on google and you find the answer obviously and over a period of time you will know this thing and last so i think last lot of i'm doing a lot of gyan but i think i can share a bit thing i think so last only one thing about how you present yourself is not about you how you communicate but how how you live how your body language is the way you talk with the people how's your convincing power there are small small things you know all these things add big value to it and of course how the, your integrity is because now when you go to co- corporate life or even your practicing life there is a deadline commitment all this words you will hear every day you know if you promise someone it has to be done at that time but if it doesn't happen at that a- time but you should have a guts to call the person saying i can't do it this time i will able to do tomorrow They don't run away from the problem so these are small small things you know you will learn over the period of time you need to ready for this i think these are two three things and of course you are chartered accountants so a lot of expectation from you you already uh, achieve something very less people achieve so it's just a small small thing i really want you to add in that yeah Oh, these yeah, are the things i think yeah. absolutely i mean i vividly remember my very first day back in few years when i was in london and then uh my first day first interaction and there was a lady who she said uh, how do you do yeah how so i said how i, I mean i was like i don't know what to answer how do you do as in why she's asking me how do you do or something this sort so uh, rightly said we cannot expect that we speak like natives but yes definitely we can choose between the words uh, right so that is that is that is the message uh, you know uh, that mayur wanted to touch base with and yes that calls for another good long uh, you know long uh, what we say long talk about this communication skills how you present yourself and then uh, you know email etiquette then presentation skills so yes definitely we are going to now he is reiterating the importance of it definitely we are going to come up with uh, come up with those idea ideologies and how do we do that like that so uh, few last questions mayur what are the opportunities for cas per se like indian cas what do you think now that brexit happened trust me my life was miserable <laughs> because i used to handle um, uk based company and there was a manufacturing company then i had to learn so many you know so many things in in, in the tools right so we cannot just really shrug off then oh no no i just i just don't know about this and this is so taxing on me but yes uh, as he rightly said we have to say no when you, when you don't know about the things and don't just brag yourself that okay i can do anything and everything you have to learn to say no that no i don't know and i need a help in that and people really appreciate uh, that rather than you giving the half hazard answers or half hazard solutions to your um, respective uh, 
you know uh, work so what are the what are the opportunities coming back to this question what are the opportunities that you are look uh, that you think are the big things coming into next years like brexit is happening then there are so many ecg um, requirements are happening there are so many uh, what do you say ai or data analytics they say the data is new gold so what are the particular in particular what you think are the opportunities for cs to look look forward to no absolutely now you know any problem comes with new opportunity generally so Bre- brexit is coming maybe some issues for us who are staying there locally having some trouble with dealing with business in europe and all but it's open a lot of opportunities for our indian and chinese people realistically so as soon as brexit happen it means the european people can't come in london uk and they stay like a normal citizen they have to get visa unlike earlier earlier it was a free trade anyone can come go no visa you can stay so now because there is a restriction obviously it come it means there is a lot of demand for skill workers when i say skill worker means skill it professional skill chartered accountants and even a lot of chartered accountants in fact whatever i know in uk maybe there is like 4 500 indian chartered accountants i think overall in uk and most of those are in the it sector they are not into practice or so not very less into financial sector but most of them are in it sector especially sap sap is one of the biggest biggest thing in there because uk is run all about it things you know there are a lot of companies it companies based in uk who are providing services all over the world but they are based in uh, uk so you need to find a lot of opportunity you will see there are so many new things coming and because of covid now everything become virtual absolutely if you come to london our streets the high city is always back to 50% now which they were pre covid so because people not going to the shops or buying anything everything happening online even anything need to order hardly people go, going to buy so it's all become system driven and when system comes into picture you need someone it you need a finance thing so there is a big opportunities and because of brexit there are less people now because uk and all this countries really depends on overseas talent because less people there and the talent generally when it comes to talents everyone look to us india even a chartered accountant with some it big knowledge of sap and there are a lot of modules in sap as you will know over the period of time there's a huge demand in there so now main earlier the main problem was visa which i think because you are in the chartered accountant there's a point based system works in uk so it, not, none of all all of you not going to go and do management because it's going to cost it's going to take few years and all few of you want might want to go directly so there are a couple of routes if you decided okay i completed my chartered accountants i know to go there and do some work there so only two ways you can go one you get some local company who going to sponsor you which is bit difficult not impossible there are companies who sponsor or another route there's a point based system where they will see what's your age what's your qualification how much earning you doing back in india and then they making this thing easier someone earning reasonably good package in india might eligible to get permanent five year visa in uk and once you have visa since you are a chartered accountant with a, such a high skill degree and high skill uh, everything experience and plus high skill high skill the financial things you will have the job getting or getting at a good tier is not a problem for you it's just to getting in the uk is the one thing and i i just want to insist when sally was saying if you want to go there what's the option there are a lot of agents there who are really trustable and reliable they have a tie with universities of course they will guide you how to go and all and they don't charge you because they get some commission from the the universities back in uk but of course they will just show you wherever they get commission so you need to keep your eye open if you go on google you will get all the list of university what their ratings are so if you because you're not going to go again and again since you're going to go once you better check everything and try to take the best university which suits your requirement as well yeah yeah absolutely. Sally, these are the things i think yeah absolutely i mean uh, uh, i can foresee that you know so credit suisse is there my you know my love my course yeah. love was a great suisse is there so all city bank barclays every uh, good investment banking you name it and you'll have it in in london like uh, there are quarters and then yes as he said there are sap fico consultancy sap and it is called fico consultancy so you basically you become Correct, yeah. the bridge between the 
client and the software maker and then you you kind of do all of that stuff ai is happening data analytics is happening banking industry any which one way it is there plus i believe he touched based on how to start our own firm like consultancy firm there right so if you have any questions if you have any queries i'm sure you'll you'll have the able guidance and this this you know for this 10 15 minutes of introduction talk that we had so it will at least navigate you so key points which i take away from our conversation uh, mayur is like uh, upskilling and reskilling is is necessary not not just for our linkedin perspective because getting al- alumni status with such bigger universities really is a credible thing because your circle def- gets you know uh, with with such high uh, high profile students so that is one thing which i derived from our conversation second uh, there are no uh, you know straight line answer that you know that if this then choose that so it depends it is it is quite subjective for all of us but then while choosing the university we should be uh, taking the decision all spear then third thing that as you do in the room uh, that's how you have to establish yourself for for the you know for accountancy or your consultancy roles there and mayur i had that question in my mind uh, why not acca or is it that great or it is not that great because i we uh, icai uh, has tie up with icaew and institute of chartered accountants in ireland also so but there is a trend where when i was in the uk for like a couple of months i was observing this trend that people were more inclined towards acca as well so is it Absolutely. that full you see or or getting the chartered accountancy course from your point of view would be more valuable yeah so a very good question i see most of once you are there you will see that why so many people doing acca and bit less people doing is aca comparatively so again is the difference is acc is also a recognized body you can always sign accounts you can do most of the things what aca do but an ac acc is bit easier compared to aca but only difference is aca is like a local degree you get a lot of value addition example now if you go to some big audit and all so they the lot of people have a condition they need a ICA W chartered accountant rather than ACA like ACA there are like six seven more institutes are there like the IFA uh, there is a SIBA there are four five institute who are almost equivalent to ACCA who you will have a signing authority authority but after certain level after example you go to banking sector or even if if you go to some uh, at if you want to reach a director level of some multinational companies the their their key point is they you they follow ICA W degree because it's more local more recognized in uk and europe compared to acca acca is is like a institute all over the world and every country they will have some separate module and they have a local signing authority you get on so that but at certain level after you cross your limit generally when you start till 40 45 you expected to go at some one of the tier top tier and that's where all this comes to matter which degree you have whether you have acca or icw and obviously icw will get more preference compared to other degrees just because it has a big brand value compared to compared to in uk and europe so i think if you going to do it better do it the best one rather than doing something which is not bad obviously but at least it has some additional points i think correct correct and i can vouch yeah. that being a icaew member as well so that that again calls for another uh, detail session that how icaew can shape up how to do that what what are the pathways and what are the eligibility how to find the sponsor how to prepare for this exam so the, the, surely don't worry this, this life skill the journey is all about we learning new skills we talking to our friends we talking to our mentors we talking to those who really inspire us day in and out little little or more right so all in all thank you so much mayur i had a great time again talking to you on this platform that was quite uh, you know uh, quite fruitful to those and i hope it could clear, clarify a few of the doubts which we as a student have like you know what to do there are so many options whether we should do it or we shouldn't do it so like that and um, i hope for for you know for such more uh, sessions i we would 
love to see you again and again for more such interesting uh, insights being there done that right so thank you so much once again and uh, i'll see you on another hand yeah okay thanks ali to having me here thanks all guys who going to listen to this hopefully yeah. you will find it helpful <laughs> right and so if you want to get in touch with him they are uh, in the comment box check uh, the the links are given so feel free to touch base with him and then uh, you can take it forward absolutely him. yeah all right all right yeah on that note thank, thank you so you. much guys thanks for watching keep watching or uh, keep you know uh, keep playing smart and we'll see you in the next episode thanks bye